Good morning. Today, I'd like to give you a few pointers about your presentations as I've gotten some questions about how you should prepare your final project presentations, which we will have in the last week of classes during the lab time. I realize we've just gone to remote learning. So some of you may now find yourselves in different time zones and so forth. So if you are experiencing problems with participating in your lab time, um, please be in touch with me. We may be able to have you visit one of our other lab times. Um, so this is what we're going to do. This should be a fun time for you to be able to share your project progress with your classmates and also with me. And also it is our final opportunity to identify um, things that might still be amiss with your project or anything that I might be able to help you with as you're finishing up your project. So I went ahead and made a template. Um, let me just share that with you. Um, so I think that might be useful. And um, I will put this on Moodle so that you will be able to have a look at that um, as well. If you want to download and uh, use that, that would be up to you. Um, you're not required to use PowerPoint. Um, it's very helpful for me if you do share your PowerPoints with me, which is why we have an upload place. Uh, the other thing is that we do need to be mindful that we need to get through all of the students. So we are going to have a hard five minute cutoff. So if you um, talk about your project longer than five minutes, I am going to ask you to please uh, stop talking so that we can be sure to uh, get everyone in. It's a courtesy for uh, everyone in the class. And uh, we do have some more time in some of the smaller sections, but just to be fair across all of these sections, we will we'll have that everybody should talk for five minutes. All right, so what should you put in this? Um, this is a recommended outline for what you could put into your slides. Um, the first slide should be the title of your project, the name and the date. The next thing you should tell us about are what would the three areas of focus or the three goals that you had for your project. Now these may have changed since the very first time um, and that's okay. Um, this is obviously a work in progress and as you've probably seen after you had some experience working with the project itself and doing things that those areas of focus may have changed. Um, also keep in mind that we do want the areas of focus to be representative of what you've learned in the course, because in a sense, it is going to be an evaluation of um, how well you have done in the course. So we do want to make sure that the project goals are broad enough to cover topics that we have done in the class. Now you may have one area of focus that is uh, something that we didn't learn in the class. So you may have chosen to, for example, learn some new uh, Python skills, uh, which a number of you did. Um, and that can be one of your three goals and the others should be representative of things that we learned in the class or all three might be things that we learned in the class. All right, um, sample code. So this is a place where you can share some of the work that you've done. Um, it's possible to share your live code since we will be uh, over Zoom, but I would recommend just for time's sake that it may be easier for you to simply just take a screenshot, for example, is oftentimes what people do of your code running. And um, oftentimes it's best to focus this section, this is sort of like your results section, this in the next slide, on one of the three areas that is perhaps the most interesting or the most developed in your project. So for example, you might have some code here and you might point out some of the things that you learned in the class, or maybe you had an interesting problem that's worthwhile to point out or something clever that you learned how to do. And this is the second result slide, which gives you a little bit more freedom to say perhaps a few more things. It could be that you talk about two of your three results, or it could be that maybe you wanna delve into a little bit more. Maybe you've shown us some code for doing your, um, your hangman and now you want to show us the actual um, hangman interface that you've made or something like that um, whatever it is that you want to tell us about your project also another thing is oftentimes students get some anxiety because they think that their project needs to be complete at this point while some of your classmates 
have completed their project at this time, it's not necessary you have until the final exams week. So you don't need to be concerned about your presentation um, not reflecting the completed project. Should enjoy this time and highlight some of the best features of what you've been able to accomplish. And finally, I would suggest that you talk about what it is you plan to do to finish up your project. So at this point, we should be reasonably close to finishing up, wrapping things up. Um, what are the things you're planning to do? Uh, what do you still need to do? What are your current obstacles? What are you currently working on? Um, are you stuck on something? Do you need me to help you with something? Uh, this is a great way for us to identify if you perhaps need to stop by the office hours um, and get a little extra help um, or let us know if everything is all set and it's going to be smooth sailing. Maybe you just need a little additional time. Um, just a quick status update on your project. And that is it. All right, so that should give you an idea of what we can talk about on Thursday. I really look forward to this day because it is a lot of fun to talk to you about your projects and a lot of fun to share your projects with your classmates. So I hope that it's an opportunity that you will um, enjoy. And also I hope you will like looking at the projects of your class. So I look forward to seeing your projects on Thursday and we'll catch you soon. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.